Hey guys, I am coming on here to show you a quick yoga tutorial on how you can do some moves on your own if you need to get your blood back up and flowing and you really need to um, basically work on your back or your lower back and you're sitting at a desk all day, what moves can you do? So let me first show you the bridge pose. So you're gonna lay on your back, you're gonna lift your feet up and I'm gonna do this sideways to show you and you're gonna lean all the way back and then you're gonna put your feet firmly planted in the ground behind you and lift your butt up and it's gonna strengthen this lower back and build your lower back muscles. A lot of times people have really bad lower back muscles and their other parts of their hips or their legs are compensating for it because they don't have strength in this lower back area. If you wanna take it one step further, you can go behind you, lift your hands, put your hands down and do a full wheel. And it's very back strengthening and it also stretches out your lower back. So, you know, be careful when you come down because your neck. And then to increase blood flow, you can lift your legs into the sky and do a shoulder stretch this way. And this will get your blood up and flowing. Now you can do a karmasana or a snail pose. Basically, you put your legs over your head like this, hold it there. This is really great for getting your blood flow back up. Now, a lot of people just, they're stuck. They don't know what moves to do to get blood flow up. And just these simple moves that I'm going to show you from me every so often will help you if you're sitting at a desk all day and you just need some motivation or some redeeming way to get blood flow back into your body because you're tight and most people don't realize that they're lacking these things so another pose is when you lay on your belly you're gonna let do the superman pose or even if you just lift your front half of your body lift up and your lower legs this is strengthening your upper back which again has the same tendencies to cause problems if it overcompensates for other areas if you have weak upper back muscles. Then lay down, do a couple sets, and then you can even do this boat pose and grab your ankles in the back and lift up. So then another pose you can do which I say is for shoulder strength, is child's pose. You lift your arms out in front of you. Now I wanna say a lot of times people have a problem with just getting blood flow in general to some areas and trying an inversion can really help or even doing the inversion alongside a wall. That way you're not having to fail if you have to do a somersault or bailing out. So you put your hands down in front of you Put your knees on you and basically lifting your legs into the sky and holding it. If you don't trust yourself, like I said, use the wall. Sometimes that's a little bit too much and you just want to try a crow pose, which requires the same thing, or you could do a tripod. Just getting that blood flow all back to your head and then flowing it back around makes a huge impact on how your body feels and how you know you can feel like all day you have some ailment or something but if you just get up and get your blood flowing it can make a huge difference so just curl pose for instance is like this and then lift your head up meaning you like put your knees on your back elbows but you got to place them in the correct area if you don't have your hands in the correct area it's very hard to do because you want to make sure it's posed at the right center of balance for yourself. But anyways, I really hope that these few poses or positions can help you if you do them daily or if you watch out, I'm going to post some more. I also have some other ones posted on my YouTube as well. So thanks for checking this out and I hope that it benefited you.